in camp that has you excited about this upcoming season? I think just the culture of our team, to be honest. We put a lot of work into that over the spring, and we have 12 new players, and these guys have done a great job of uh, implementing, hey, this is how we do things, and getting everybody in and on the bus quickly. So that's been really exciting. Kenny, you've been around for a while, so how have you seen that culture develop to where it's at a healthy place right now for you guys? Yeah, I mean, I'm coming up on my fourth year being here, and I've never been on a team like this since I've been here. Just the belief that this group has, um, the love that we all share for each other, I think it's really special, and it's something that I've never seen, and we've worked really hard on, and this group, we all want it, and we've been putting in so much work since the spring, over the summer, that um, it's really exciting to see that come together for fall. Liv, what's it been like for you, kind of being back you know, home, uh, yeah. you know, playing back in the hometown? Yeah, as a transfer, I mean, coming in um, in the spring, like it was great seeing the team and seeing the culture, it's a complete shift, it was great. And then just seeing more people come in, it's just only gotten better and I'm really excited for our future here. But um, it's been great being back home, being able to rep my hometown. I think it's it's been, it's great, been great being close to my family and everything, so. Either for you, uh, you know, kind of start year three. How I guess where's the progression at in you know kind of the building of the program, uh, you know, from your standpoint of you know, where you want it to get to. Yeah, I mean, ultimately we want to win the Mountain West, so that's that's our vision, and um, it's it's brick by brick, block by block, step by step. And I think sometimes it's you know you can't build Rome in a day, and you want to get there, you know, the next day. Um, so really just emphasizing the process, what that looks like. You're gonna have the highs, the lows, the valleys. Uh, but I firmly believe, and we communicate this often, is we believe in this group and we believe they put a lot of hard work in. And um, going back to year one, every now and then we reflect a little bit and be like, hey, this is where you were, look where you are now. Because sometimes you're in the forest and you can't see through. And so um, really just highlighting and celebrating those growths and, and milestones while sometimes it doesn't feel like that. Kind of off the bat, Keeley, you guys had eight ties last year, so obviously very competitive in every match. But what needs to happen in your estimation to kind of get over that hump and have those start turning in the picture? Yeah, we got to score more goals than the other team, right? So, um, yeah, I think it's just um, continue to emphasize the little things, um, continue to you know stick to the game plan and, and being disciplined. Um, you know, I think we looked past this past spring. Um, and the players are, are now hearing things for the second and third time, right? It's just those repetitions. And I think we're, we're starting to see the, kind of the fruit of that repetition time and time again of just the, of the fundamentals of, of getting better every single day. And if we can do that from an individual standpoint, our team is doing that. And they've heard that until they're blue in the face probably. So I think from that standpoint, it's, it's been exciting to see that growth. Yeah, I think it's, um, you know, we're on a team sport and we've, we've identified um, clearly what position is and we've made it, made it even more defined for our group. Um, I think that's been better. And then from a, a personality standpoint, um, just the growth and, and telling our players, like, listen, last year you were here, this year you're here. And that belief goes a really long way. I'm sure you guys have watched the Ted Lasso and the importance of belief. Um, it's a real thing. The energy is a real thing. Um, you know, bringing the transfers that we've brought in, um, obviously we're expecting them to have an impact, um, especially this one over here. And, um, and it's not any sort of pressure. It's just what are we doing in the process for that specific role? Um, if we looked at our exhibition game, we scored three goals, um, which, you know, from a, okay, one game in goals, uh, score three goals, one game you score zero goals, but it's how are we scoring the goals, right? We're not just scoring them the same way. We have a variety of ways, which is difficult to defend, and we do have those personnel that can do that. Kind of going off of that, um, five goals in your first three games um, out of the 15 goals that you guys score. Is it important to not just start off strong but finish strong, or how do you kind of relay that message to your team? Yeah, what's our hashtag? October. <laughs> And um, I kind of let these guys answer because I think that's that's been a big push for us. Mm -hmm. So you guys can talk about it. I mean, since this spring, we've been focused on October and the tournament. So all the work that we've put in, yeah, we started off strong last season. But 
we're looking to carry that all the way through October and play our best soccer in October. Yeah, and I think we talk a lot about consistency and staying consistent, and that carries into games. We have our big five moments, our first five, last five, five minutes after a goal scored. Um, and I think just remaining consistent throughout the whole season is really what we're striving for. And Keely, you mentioned the trench was obviously getting Avery back in, in her home state as well. I mean, obviously with Liv as well. I mean, just getting players to come back home, how important is that? Obviously, we've seen with the Women's World Cup how impressive the power of talent is. I mean, just how much have you seen just kind of more players wanting to come back here? Yeah, you know, that's part of a big push of why I took the job, to be honest, right? It's, um, one, my family's here. Two, we can recruit from the state of Colorado because it's such a strong state. And then outside of that, we're appealing to Northwest, California, Texas, kind of the regional um, young ladies that can help us ultimately win, right? Uh, while a lot of Colorado kids like to leave and check out somewhere, we're finding that um, we want to be in the conversation when they come back, uh, when they're looking to transfer and, and potentially being closer to home. So um, that's part of our recruiting model. It's no secret. And, um, you know, quite frankly, uh, the more young ladies we can have from Colorado, I think that's going to continue to help us with some outside flair from other states. Um, it's it's going to be great for us. And then I mentioned the, the World Cup. I mean, just getting to watch Sophia. I mean, I'm sure yeah. that was pretty cool just being someone from the area. How yeah. Cool was it like just kind of seeing her? I mean, she's grown a lot as a player. I, I think I played against her when I was really young in 3v3, and I know people who played with her as well. And so seeing her just absolutely flourish in that environment is just is super inspiring for me, just being from the same town. So, Is it a requirement to watch Ted Lasso? <laughs> I've already watched it, okay. but yes. So it's, it's a, it's a <laughs> Not a requirement, but we do have a few clips every now and then that we, we show the group because it's a phenomenal Easy. show. So. Yeah. Coach, uh, in your three, you're going in three years, um, a lot's happened in college sports. So much we're talking about the transfer portal, as we've talked about the positives, there's negatives too as well. How do you navigate through all that? Because it just seems like you guys are, I mean, the workload was crazy anyway, but now it's just, it's constant for you guys. Yeah, I kind of joke that COVID prepared us because we're trying to make decisions on information that we don't have because it's always changing. So that's really the... Um, you just got to be figure out what's relevant for right now and then do the best that you can to plan for things that may be changing. Um, so from that standpoint, it's how can you get ahead of it? Uh, how can you be prepared? How can you be organized and then make the best decision with the information you have? Thank you, ladies. Good. Good. Thank All you, right. guys. Thank you. Good job, you guys.